Hello friends, this is Wendy with Love and Stampin' and I am excited that you're here with me today. We are going to be using a new stamp set from La La Land Crafts called Let It Snow. And I also received this wintertime designer series paper that is some of the most stunning paper I think I've ever seen in my life. It literally looks like a picture. I feel like you could frame these and hang them up in your kitchen or bathroom for like a fun Christmas decoration. I want to live in all of these little towns for a week because, you know, I don't like being cold and I don't like the snow, but they feel very stars hollow slash hallmarky and I just love them. I love them so much. So we actually don't end up using any of this designer series paper today, but I wanted to show it all to you because it is absolutely stunning. So La La Land Crafts and the Rabbit Hole Designs partnered together to do an Instagram blog hop. If you go over to Instagram, you'll be able to find my post. Um, and it's these cards that I'm making today. They did a giveaway. And you know what? Let me look right now on my phone to see when the giveaway ends while I'm showing you this. And then there's this really cute layering stencil. Oh, geez. Sorry, guys. Um... So the layering stencil is called Christmas trees, I think. Is that what it's called? Yes. And <clears throat> let's see, Instagram hop. Oh yeah, comment by December 6th. So if you go to my Instagram, which I'll link below the video in the description and scroll down, you'll find it there. So from the rabbit hole designs, I'm using this um, stencil. I think this is called the cat eye stencil. I'm also using some sequins I got from them, their little container that you can dump the sequins in. You'll see that later. And then I'm using some of their Bitty Blenders. Love their blending brushes. Here I am just prepping some cardstock and we are going to get busy. I'm also using the Country Corners dies from Stampin' Up! And we're going to make two cards. Um, what we're going to talk about a little bit today is kind of extending your crafting products when you already have them out. So on this day, when I was creating for this, I'm not going to lie, I struggled just a little bit in creating these cards, not because I didn't have my creative mojo, but because I needed to use specific product. Like I needed to use something from Rabbit Hole and something from La La Land Crafts and I was stressful to me, <laughs> not because for any particular reason, except that I can just get neurotic and get in my own head about stuff. And so that's basically what happened. I got in my own head and I, then I started struggling to create. So finally, I settled on using this stencil and it absolutely turned out beautiful. I'm using Azure Afternoon and Night of Navy to ink blend that with those bitty blenders. And then I decided to cut a frame out of Knight of Navy cardstock. So what I did is I just stacked these two frames up and I <clears throat> die cut them through my machine. And then I cut my acetate sheet out of the largest piece. Here, what you see me getting ready to do is like make a shaker part that's going to go on top. And then I have this moment where I'm like, oh, that's not going to work. So I remove this piece and I pop in the die cut that I cut out. And I realize that the shaker card is going to need a back. So it's going to need, like when you look through the acetate shaker piece, it's going to need, you're going to need to see something through there. So I popped this back in place and I ink blended right over the top of all of this. And that way I was ink blending two pieces at the same time that would be cohesive when I put them together on the card. And you'll kind of see how that all comes together in a minute. So we ended up ink blending a second piece of cardstock, this one here that you see on my all to new sticky mat. And we do exactly the same type of pattern and same colors. This all to new sticky mat, you can just stick everything down to and it holds it in place. It's wonderful. Probably one of the best crafting helpers. I, I have craft room helpers, you know, and this is one of them. So here I just use that little bitty blending brush and now I'm going over it just because the white is a little stark. So I wanted to push that back just a little. I'm gluing my acetate sheet onto the back of my frame that I cut out 
and then we're going to glue that entire frame to this piece of cardstock that we just ink blended. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm using my precision glue press. By the way, these are back in stock. So if you want a precision glue press, if they haven't already sold out, <laughs> go get one because, and I will link to it below the video. I'm going to link specifically to the glue press so that you can go and grab yourself one. They're $34.99. They come with the base. They come with the gun. They come with the glue. Um, and then they come with a clear, uh, not a clear bottle, an empty bottle as well. So you can fill it with whatever glue you want. So here we're just going to layer this piece down. And now we have our acetate window for our shaker card. And then we're going to be able to turn this over and add our foam strips and all of that and we're gonna do some coloring and get this card going now <clears throat> at the beginning of the video I mentioned that we are working on stretching our supplies so when I die cut all of this stuff when I die cut out um, <clears throat> excuse me again when I die cut out the Knight of Navy uh, frame there was a smaller Knight of Navy die cut left over, right? So I saved that. Uh, you can see that I'm using the center piece of this. And here I'm thinking, like, how am I going to do this and make sure it all gets put together correctly? And then this is what I do. I just lift it up, add some glue, glue it down. Voila. And it's right where it should be. And I, before I push it down hard, I just kind of put it in place with this. And then I actually push down right through the clear sheet. And the only thing that's going to stick is that layer. Okay. So, um, stretching our, our bits and pieces. So I die cut this little white piece that I've ink blended out of this piece of cardstock, obviously. So I'm using that. I cut a frame of Knight of Navy from that frame. There was a leftover piece that we're going to use. Um, and then there's a whole nother sheet that you guys saw I ink blended that we're going to use. And I'm using all the same products. And truth be told, I probably could have got, uh, three or four cards out of the supplies that I had cut. I just actually didn't have time to keep making cards because I was on a roll and I was trying to get a bunch of stuff done for deadlines because that's, that's the life I live. So that, um, had I not been kind of like, okay, I have to stop creating for this and I have to move on to the next project. I probably could have gotten several more cards out of the products I was just using on my desk. I had other ideas. I just didn't have time to execute them. So here I'm adding foam strips. These are from Stampin' Up! And I absolutely love these foam strips. They are super handy. Um, they're perfect for shaker cards because they're a little bit thicker and they just work well. So then I realized, oh, fudge, I need a backer. Now, that being said, if I was really fancy and I could flip this over or I could flip the other card base over onto this and get it all lined up right, it would be fine and I wouldn't need a backer. But I did cut a second piece of acetate out that's going to go right over the back of this to give me a backer piece so that I can flip this over and glue it down onto my card base without any issues. Um, there you can see I just put that on and now it's trapped like in a window and I can now easily move this around freely, no problem. Now we're gonna add foam to the edges of this piece and then we're gonna add a little bit of glue and get this all stuck down in place just how it should be. And then we can move on to coloring our snowman and getting the rest of this card put together. So uh, if you're new around here, first I wanna welcome you and say hello, thank you for joining us. If you are not new around here, um, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here with me today. And one of the things that I like to do here on my channel is something we call story time, which is just sharing a little bit about my life. It's you can think of my channel as a card making vlog with a V, which is that I just kind of document and share what's going on. Because honestly, sometimes I don't know what else to say about card when I'm making it. 
that's really where story time came from, if you were wondering. Um, there's times where it's like, yep, I'm going to die cut this. Okay. Now what do I say about it? So sometimes I got to just fill some space. So while you watch me create and I try not to cut out too many parts and pieces of a video because I really feel like seeing the full process is important. And so, yeah, that's why I leave most of it in. So here I cut this out with the biggest, the second biggest die. And then I have another little, um, layer I'm going to use as well. Okay. So in, um, now what am I doing? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm stamping all of the snowmen. Okay. So story time, what's been happening? Uh, this week has been a little bit quieter of a week for us. Uh, we were supposed to host Thanksgiving and have everybody over and my husband got sick with a little bit of a cold. And so we didn't have anybody over, but it was a really nice evening. Anyway, we had, I still made everything I was going to make plus some more and we still had a really nice evening. Um, and then what else is happening? Uh, so we did that and then we just kind of have kept it low key this week with normal activities. And, uh, I managed on Monday night to drop a blender on my head. So that was fun. Uh, we have this tall cabinet above our stove and I was getting the blender out and the top part of it I thought was attached and it wasn't. And so the whole canister, I guess you would call it, fell out and fell on my head and it really hurt. Like it left a little goose egg and I'm totally fine. 100% recovered. No, there was no issues. I didn't even have a headache except it just hurt right where it bonked me. Um, you know, things like that happen and it sucked and it hurt, but I lived to tell about it. Thank God. I did have anxiety because I was like, oh my gosh, am I going to die? Did I get a concussion? What's going to happen? Um, cause that's what I do. I go down crazy road and yeah, I lived. So I'm fine. It's days later and do not comment and tell me I need to go to the doctor and get checked because I do not. I am fine. <laughs> so, um, it, I always hesitate to share stuff like that because there's always one person in the comments that's like, oh my gosh, you better go to the hospital. And because I struggle with medical related anxiety, that's not good. Like, don't say things like that to me. So um, anyway, <laughs> that's the scoop there. Um, I am coloring, by the way, this guy with B05, no, B06, B04, and B01. And then I colored his arms a nice dark brown and of course a carrot nose, some rosy cheeks, a little bit of gray for uh, the white areas. And then I'm gonna add him onto the card with dimensionals and then I'm gonna stamp and heat emboss the sentiment. So that happened. Then we went up on Tuesday evening to my in-laws house and we, um, decorated their Christmas tree. That is a every year tradition for us. We do that every single year since, uh, we've been engaged, married because we got engaged in January and we got married in September of 2006. So here's what's funny. Um, when I was dating my husband, he would go up to his parents at, during Christmas time, uh, before Christmas and decorate the Christmas tree. And I was never invited to come. And I always kind of thought it was strange if I'm being honest. Um, but he never invited me and I tried not to question it. Cause I was like, okay, I guess that's, and I, I mean, I went to their house for other things. Just, I'm just saying. So anyway, um, I found out later <laughs> that it was because my mother-in-law did not want pictures of like random girlfriends and boyfriends in the family Christmas tree decorating scenario. So until they got serious about somebody, she asked that they didn't bring them up for the Christmas tree decorating. 
now that I have my own daughter and we're, you know, living our own happy life here, I totally understand. But I thought it was the weirdest thing at first. And now I totally get it because yeah, boyfriends and girlfriends can come and go and you don't want like special family moments to be filled with pictures of people that maybe were only in your child's life for a couple of months. So it totally makes sense. Um, but anyway, so the first year after we got married, I went up there and we've been going every year since. I don't think I've ever missed a year. We've been married 17 years. So, um, yeah, it's just a special fun time. We had dinner and then we got busy creating or creating. <laughs> decorating the Christmas tree. Now, full disclosure, honestly, I don't do any of the decorating. I just kind of sit and watch and visit. And that's because they all, the her children have like their own boxes of ornaments that they put on the tree. And so I just kind of sit and hang out and watch my daughter and husband put ornaments on the tree because I have two trees at my house that I decorate with my family. So for me, it just doesn't, I don't know. It just, I don't have the same like connection to it. Um, because I come home and decorate mine, which by the way, we're doing tonight. The night when you're seeing this is Saturday. I have voiceovered it prior to that. So on Wednesday night, the 29th is when we are going to be decorating our Christmas tree. So this card is finished. Uh, I'm done. I'm going to add a few sequins to it. And this card is completely finished. And then what happened is I got interrupted and I went off camera and created a whole nother card. And I'm going to show that one to you here in just a minute after I get these sequins put on. I do want to show you this cute little container from the rabbit hole designs. By the way, all of the products that I've used today will be linked below the video in a link that says measurements and supplies. You just click that link. It's going to take you right to my blog. You scroll down to the bottom of my blog and all of the supplies are listed there. Uh, I used to put all of the links in the video description, but I found out that YouTube and Google don't really like that. So I try not to do that now because I don't want, um, basically I don't want it to like be an issue. And sometimes there's a lot of supplies. So I don't want to like, you know, Anyway, measurements and supplies, there's a link. And I only provide measurements on cards that are like fun fold or complicated. Cards like this where the layers are very simple, like the only layer I've used here is a four by five and a quarter. Everything else is die cut. I don't really see the point in putting measurements for that over on my blog. Um, of course, you can always message me or leave comments if you have any questions ever about anything I create. I'm always an open book and happy to share. Sometimes I just, I guess I just sometimes assume people know certain things. So here I'm adding the sequins that I want to add. And then this is what's so cool about that little container. If you see that little pour spout lip thing, you can just pour all of those sequins right back into the bag and it's fantastic. So here's the other card. Well, here's the shaker card. I'm going to show it to you again. But then the other card I created is just as cute. And I used that die cut that we had out from the other one and that leftover piece of Knight of Navy die cut. I uh, heat embossed the bottom, colored the little snowman, kept everything blue and cohesive just because it looks better in photos. And that is the entire video. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I want to know what you're doing uh, here this holiday season, what you've got going on. And if you need to shop for any of the products I use today, I would greatly appreciate it if you use my links. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.